greetings. We'll meet again on chapter 15, form 4, KSSM, Reproduction, Development and Growth in Humans and Animals. And for form 5, KBSM, it is on chapter 4, Reproduction and Growth. For form 4, KSSM, the content standard, the first one, 15.4, Development of Human Fetus. 15.5, Formation of Twins. The learning standard, 15.4.4, Communicate about the roles of following structures in the development of a fetus, that is placenta and umbilical cord. 15.4.5 Justify the necessity for separate fetal and maternal blood circulatory system. 15.5.1 Describe the processes in the formation of twins, that are identical twins and fraternal twins. 15.4.2 Compare and contrast between identical and fraternal twins. And the last one, 15.4.3, correlate cellular division with the formation of conjoined twins. For Form 5 KBSM, the learning objective is 4.3, early development of a human zygote. The learning outcome, the first one, describe the formation of twins. Second one, compare identical twins with fraternal twins. The third one, state the function of placenta in fetal development. And the last one, explain the advantages of fetus having a separate circulatory system from that of the mother. Placenta. What is placenta? Placenta is formed from the mother's endometrial tissue and the embryonic tissue. So you can see this is the placenta. Make it bigger. Okay. So you have this one as the placenta. So this placenta is connected to the fetus. Okay. This placenta connected to the fetus through the umbilical cord. And this umbilical cord contains blood vessel. You can see the umbilical vein that is the blood vessel and the umbilical arteries. So, this blood vessel will carry substances in and out of the fetus. There are two main functions of placenta. The first one is the exchange site of substances between mother and the fetus. There are two pathways that is from the mother's blood to the fetus blood capillary. Okay. The substances are glucose, amino acid, hormone, antibodies and oxygen. The second one is from the fetus blood capillary to the mother blood circulation. Okay, it is, it contains carbon dioxide, nitrogenous waste such as urea. The second function of the placenta, placenta can act as endocrine gland to secrete hormones. Well, in the fourth month of pregnancy, the corpus lithium will degenerate. Hence, there is no more secretion of progesterone. So, the placenta will take over the role by producing progesterone and estrogen. These two hormones are needed to maintain the thickness of the endometrium. Umbilical cord Umbilical cord is a tube that connects the placenta to the fetus. Umbilical cord consists of one umbilical vein and two umbilical arteries. This umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood, meaning rich in oxygen, from the placenta to the fetus. As I told you, this umbilical vein is rich in oxygen as well as the nutrient. Okay, for example, just now glucose, amino acid. Umbilical arteries carries deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta. In other words, it is rich in carbon dioxide and also it carries nitrogenous waste, such as urea. The blood of the mother and the fetus do not mix. 
Why? Because they are separated by a thin membrane. The reason why the blood of the mother and the fetus do not mix is because the first reason, it will protect the fetus from certain dangerous chemical substances such as toxin and bacteria to cross over from the mother to the fetus. The second reason is to prevent the thin filter blood vessel from bursting due to the mother's high blood pressure. And the third reason to prevent agglutination or blood clot from happening in the fetus if the fetus does not have the same blood group as the mother. However, this thin membrane layer do not protect to all substances. Okay, so certain substances are being absorbed into the fetal blood circulation, such as drugs, some drugs and some medication, cigarette smoke, alcohol ingested by the mother, and some viruses such as HIV virus and rubella virus. Now, we look at the formation of twins. What is twin? Twin refers to two or more children that are born from one pregnancy. There are two types of twins. The first one is known as identical twin. The picture of identical twin. And the second one is known as fraternal twin. The picture of fraternal twin. Now, we look at the formation of identical twin and fraternal twin. Look at the first one. This is the formation of identical twin. In the identical twin, we have one sperm fertilized one ovum. So, you have one embryo, but the embryo will later divide into two. So, you have two. So, in identical twin, you only have one placenta shared by the two fetus. But the fetus, of course, has its own umbilical cord. So, this is the formation of identical twins. Okay. So, now we look at the next one. This is the fraternal twins. In fraternal twins, you have two sperm and two ovum. Each sperm will fertilize each ovum. So you have the two separate, separate embryo. Okay. And also you have two separate placenta. Each fetus will have its own placenta. Now, we want to compare between identical twin and fraternal twin. The first one, identical twin is the product of fertilization between one ovum and one sperm forming one zygote. Whereas in fraternal twin, the fertilization is between two sperm and two ova. Each sperm will fertilize each ovum, so forming two separate zygotes. The second difference, the embryo, which is initially one, will later divide into two in identical twin. In fraternal twin, the embryo from the beginning is actually two. In identical twin, there is only one placenta sharing between the two fetus. In fraternal twin, each fetus has its own placenta. In identical twin, the genetic makeup and the physical appearance of the twins are similar as they are from the same zygote. Whereas in fraternal twin, the genetic makeup and the physical appearance of the twins are normally different. Why? Because they are from the different zygote. And the last one, for the identical twin, the sex or the gender of the twin 
must be the same. Whereas in fraternal twin, the sex of both twin may be the same or may be different. Conjoined twins or Siamese twin. Conjoined twins or Siamese twin can only occur in identical twins. These conjoined twins or Siamese twin occur in identical twin if the development of the division is incomplete. Uh, the division of the embryo is incomplete. Now, although two fetus are formed from the embryo, some of their physical parts are still fused together. Um, it can be at the chest, abdomen, or anywhere. And some of the conjoined twins may be sharing the internal organ. Most of the conjoined twins will die uh, before they are born. Even they are able to... Uh, to be born, some of them have a very short lifespan. These conjoined twins or Siamese twin may be separated through surgery. However, the success of the surgery depends on the joint part and which internal organ they are sharing. We have come to the end of today's topic. If you want to take the quiz on the topic, you can check down there and subscribe my YouTube channel to get updates on more of biology video. See you next time. Bye-bye.